Do you believe in fairy tales? Best-selling author Soman Chanani does, and he does it wholeheartedly. Now, when you read his new book, you may too. Soman joins us here this morning from New York. It's today's sponsored segment. Soman, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. You bet. Now, you've got your fifth book out in the series, The School for Good and Evil. The new book is called The Crystal in Time. How will this help us believe in fairy tales? You know, I think growing up, we all get a little bit brainwashed by Disney's versions of the tales, and we forget that these stories come from the Grimm's brothers and, and you know, Hans Christian Andersen and all these writers who wrote very rich stories of good and evil that ultimately got translated into kind of Disney-fied versions of Happily Ever After. So I wanted to, to redo real fairy tales for kids, really give them a sense of what fairy tales used to be, and that's how The School for Good and Evil was born. So they have a sense of reality to them, is what you're saying? Yeah, you, you're not guaranteed that good's gonna always win. I think we're, we're so used to the hero always winning no matter what they do, you know? So it's an obvious ending every time you go into a fairy tale. And I wanted to, to give kids the chance to see that if good's gonna win, they actually have to be better and smarter than evil, you know, ultimately, or they're gonna lose. So there's more of a balance in my stories. Uh, villains win all the time, uh, in real life and in my books. And so it gives kids a, a more balanced sense of what the world is actually like. And I think kids need that these days. And I have to mention to you as well here, I understand that some congratulations are in order. You've got this whole series is now about to be a uh, full-length motion picture. How does that feel? The, the movie side of it is, is more natural to me in a way because I started in, in the movie world and, and publishing sort of became this happy surprise uh, when the idea I had for a movie got turned into a book. So for it to be turned into a movie has it really make it uh, go full circle, you know, for me. So uh, I'm excited to see it happen and I've been part of the process since the beginning and uh, we're getting close to uh, a finished product. Looking forward to it. Do you know when it will come out in theaters? Probably the end of 2020 or early 2021, so not too far away. You know, movies have their own sort of slow process, <laughs> but uh, they come in the end. That is very true. Now, before then, I understand you have a nationwide book tour you're doing, and it's coming right here to Salt Lake City, or at least close to us. Is that right? Yeah, I'm coming to Salt Lake City, I believe, on, on March 20th, and I'm going to be doing a big uh, appearance at the Provo Library uh, with Ali Condi, who um, wrote the Match series and is, is a great friend of mine. So uh, I'm looking forward to, to coming to Salt Lake City. I also teach at a writing camp every summer in Cedar City. So uh, Utah is, is an increasingly big part of my life. So if people go down to Cedar City, they can learn how to write their own books just like this. Is that what you're saying? 100%. It's a, it's a camp called Write Out, and you can learn more about it at writeout.org. Uh, and uh, kids from all over the country come to this camp. I think it's June 26th to June 29th uh, of this year. Well, you have a full slate coming up here for the re rest of the year, and obviously coming up for the books and for the movies. So I'm gonna, we appreciate you being with us today. The new book, if you want to check it out for yourself, it's called The Crystal in Time in the School for Good and Evil series. Someone, thanks for being with us today. That book's available in stores today. Thanks again. Have a great day. You too.